as you can see, it's not a regular episode. It's Halloween in Salem, and I'm downtown at Riverfront Park for an event that promotes Culture Shock's 13 Nights of Halloween. Let's talk more with the creators and talk more about Culture Shock. All right, we're downtown with Zach Pelly. Tell us more about the event that's going on today. Well, the event is, it's called the Zombie Q, and it is a barbecue and zombie walk fundraiser for the Oregon School for the Deaf and Culture Shock. And it's, uh, we have our barbecue by his donation, and we have makeup artists here doing, turning people into zombies and stuff. And uh, we're gonna have a three-legged race, three-legged zombie race. We're gonna have a zombie walk contest, you know, with a panel of judges and everything, and you know, just out here to have a fun time. Well, that's great. Now, how did this idea get started? Um, this idea, it was, the director of the Nightmare Factory, Ed Roberts, it was his idea. He's been wanting to do this event for a while with Culture Shock, and it just hasn't really come about because, you know, he's busy. He always has a haunted house to do. And he approached Murrah and myself about doing this for our senior project because he knew that we wanted to do something for the deaf school. And so that's kind of how it happened. We just came together and had a meeting and then hit the ground running with stuff. And what do you think of Culture Shock and what they do for Salem? I, I think it's great. I feel like that they're doing a good thing with trying to promote different cultural activities throughout Salem. We're standing here with Mara Garcia, one of the event planners. How did you get involved with this idea today? I've been working at OSD for the past three, almost four years now, and Zach Pelly and I have been going to school. We work with Ed Roberts, and we had been talking about our senior service project, and we knew we wanted to do something for OSD and the Haunted House. So we decided maybe we'd do a zombie queue with the zombie walk, including Culture Shock, because that's what they do. And it's kind of how we decided what we wanted to do, and we started working together. Yeah, and, and what did Culture Shock do for you guys? How did you get together and plan this? Um, we had a meeting and we decided exactly what we were going to do, how we were going to do it, and they decided that they'd make the posters for us and then we were going to do the barbecue portion and all the makeup and then they were going to take over and go do the walk downtown for us. That's awesome. What do you think of Culture Shock and what they do for Salem? I think it's awesome. I know they have a restaurant down over here. It's a little cafe and they do like different shows for kids and everybody and I think it's just really cool because it involves a lot of the community and their 13 nights and having all the different activities going on. All right we are here with Carly from Culture Shock. Tell us more about the event that's going on today. Uh, today we're celebrating World Zombie Day um, and to do so we're having a zombie queue and a zombie walk and a costume swap. That's great and tell us more about the 13 nights of Halloween because I understand you run that. I do. I am actually the uh, festival chair for the 13 nights of Halloween. It kicks off on Wednesday, October 19th and runs through the 31st of October. Uh, every night and, and day we have different Halloween centered activities and events. Most of them are free. Um, everything from pumpkin carving to zombie walk to uh, a film. We've got kind of something for everybody. And um, how can people learn about these events and what, where to find them and where to go? Um, Culture Shock owns the cafe, the Clockworks Cafe and Cultural Center, and we have a comic program, so everyone can see, um, that we produce that centers around uh, 13 nights. In it, we have a listing of all the different events we have going on and a kind of like a summary of information about different times and dates and whatnot. Uh, we also have a website, cultureshockproject.org slash 13 nights, where people can find out too. And that's awesome. What do you think Culture Shock does for the community of Salem? I think Culture Shock's here as an organization to help get people out in the community and inspire them to be active and, and enjoying Salem. Salem has a lot going on that we kind of help highlight to show people exactly what we have. I mean, we've got the Nightmare Factory. I mean, for Halloween, we've got the Nightmare Factory and we've got, um, you know, while well, Spirit Halloween comes in and we've got different uh, events going on. AC Gilbert has their you know, Harvest Festival. and. And, you know, 13 Nights of Halloween, one of the things we do with it is every event has a community partner. So we try and work with other people and other organizations and businesses in the community to show what they offer. And, and between Culture Shock and them, we put our forces together and do great things. <laughs> We're here with Ryan Rogers of Culture Shock. Tell us more about what Culture Shock does in the Salem community. 
Culture Shock is all about building uh, stronger and deeper connections between people. We believe that community is an interconnected weave of people te being together. And we kind of live in a culture that pulls us apart or separates us into these little tiny um, subcategories. So we want to build a diverse, active, engaged community of people that are really distinctly connected and think about how they're connected. So that's kind of what Culture Shock does. And so it, it does that through really innovative and exciting projects. We try to do things that will bring people out, that will get them together, that will get them kind of active with one another. And then we also try to give them enough um, creativity and power to kind of create their own events so that um, it allows them to be involved, it allows them to contribute as well, not just to be acted upon by an event, but come out and actually interact with the event. And that's great. What are some annual events that go on through Culture Shock or monthly events? Um, 13 Nights of Halloween is, what is our big um, annual festival, which is just coming up in a week and a half or so. Um, and then we've got uh, Clockworks Cafe, which has ongoing events all the time. We actually opened it specifically to be an event center. Um, so uh, that's, that's our other big, big project. Um, we've done Stereo Salem, which was a compilation of uh, local music. Um, we organized a, 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 a forum called Salem Now. Um, and I'm, oh, Lips, excuse me. Um, and uh, our interactive performance series, uh, which does um, Rocky Horror style productions uh, but brand new movies that we've created right here. So we did The Big Lebowski, and we just did Animal House about a month ago. So We're here with Meadow. You were a student in summer video camp this year, right? Yeah, I was. <laughs> what brought you here today? Uh, I like zombies, and I already had this outfit. So <laughs> That's right. What was that outfit from? A zombie trailer movie thing. Yeah, from summer video camp. What did you think of summer video camp? Uh, it was fun. My group was awesome. My group leader, Chris, she was awesome. And then just everyone, I knew almost everyone. And all the camp leaders, especially you. Well, thank you. Are you excited for the activities that are coming later? Yeah, I can, um, my, si my little sister is here, so I'm going to uh, try to three-legged race with her or something. <laughs> I can make you fall now. <laughs> okay, back up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're here with Laura T. Pelly. Now, how did you get involved with this event today? Um, my nephew, Zach, is one of the organizers for his senior class project. And he came and approached me because I happened to work for Sales Riverfront Carousel. Um, I'm volunteer manager and program director down there and um, he approached the carousel about help for how to get set up in the park. So the carousel has an annual park permit that we have access to. So we donated that to his program and we became kind of a title sponsor for this event. Well that's great and how do you think it's going so far? So far so good. We showed up at 8 o'clock this morning there was a beautiful hot air balloon flying over and we're just very happy with the sun and the number of people being able to support both Culture Shock events and the Oregon School for the Deaf. All right, we are here with, what's your name? I am the mortician from the Nightmare Factory. That's interesting. Now, what are you doing here at this event today? I'm searching for some new bodies. We've got a fresh load of body bags, and I could use all the help I can get. That's awesome. Now, uh, what exactly brought you to this event? What, what What's that that you have there? Oh, this is my urn. It carries the souls of all the men I've embodied. I can hear them, they're getting anxious. Well, we don't want to open that just yet, do we? Souls of all the power of the Nightmare Factory. Oh man, that's a lot of power. It's so the entire place. It's where your dreams are made of. The not, not the nice dreams, you know. The nightmares! Absolutely. Absolutely. I kind of like them all myself. <laughs> yeah, what what do you think this event today does to boost spirit for Halloween? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not one for Halloween. Really? Yes, I'm too busy with my work. I see. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. The more zombies, the better. Yeah, exactly, because you might put them in your urn if they're evil enough. You may donate freely, or I can take it from you. I'm good. All the souls just give us more nightmares for the factory. Well, thanks for talking to us. Absolutely. Hope to see you tonight.
Okay. All right, we've had an awesome time exploring Salem and Riverfront Park. I want to thank the representatives from Culture Shock and Blanchett Catholic High School for helping me find out about this event. Definitely check out the 13 nights of Halloween put on by Culture Shock and more annual Culture Shock events. Thanks for watching Exploring Salem. See you next time. What's in that thing? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, sure. Spirits of all those have involved. Okay, I don't really want to know. <laughs> Culture shock and bland the blanch. <laughs> I messed up! I'm sorry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.